All right. <laughs> Welcome to WZW in New York to Boston. This is JFK in the house bringing you not only the sputter time and sputter and Frank in the NASCAR news. He's going to grease your chassis right about now. All righty, guys, and welcome to a, another lovely day in the Northeast. Uh, hey, uh, go figure. I mean, we got to, we got halfway decent good weather here in, in the Northeast uh, again today. Wow, is it October or is it September? Or what? Well, what's the, what's the, what's the month, month we're working in right now? It's October. Oh, okay, right. all right, just checking because I mean, yeah, I mean, you check that calendar, it says one thing. You, you check the weather, it's a different thing. Okay, hey, kind of like almost like the NFL. First, you have a rule that you got to stand up for the national anthem, and then over during in the mornings, in the morning meeting, I guess uh, yesterday or the day before, one of those two loser meetings they, they had, um, they sit there and said, "Oh well, we're just going to not worry about it." Wish I had a job where I don't want to worry about rules. Oh, that's right. You do have a job. I have two jobs, and we're both both jobs for rules. <laughs> so three, if you count this one. Um, all right. Well, on to our our, our NASCAR thing. Eventually. This weekend is the cutoff race for the Sprint Cup. So eventually, uh, so some of you guys, uh, if you're a fan of Kyle Busch, Matt Kenneth, or Stenhouse, you better turn around and call them up and say, hey, better get going because you could be done for the year because this is a cutoff race this weekend up in the old Candace and maybe they, maybe, maybe they can get Toto to help them out. Maybe Toto? You, you know, Dorothy, Dor 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 Dorothy and Toto and... I don't know, maybe the evil witch of the west or whatever she was doesn't fall doesn't fall underneath the house and helps them out. Um, I know who's going to win this week, though. Well, sure, it ain't the wicked witch of the west. No, it's going to be Jimmy Johnson. Why, is Toto helping him? Yeah. Oh, okay, well, maybe. Jimmy Johnson's going to win this week. All right. Well, JFK's already made his pick already. <laughs> his total pick of the week. <laughs> I'm terrible, I'll tell you. And then we have uh, three more races before the final cutoff, which will be Phoenix. Uh, that would be Martinsville, Texas, and Phoenix for the uh, next next three after after this weekend's Candace race. Uh, Candace. Uh, the Infinity race also will be in, in good old Candace. Maybe we can get Little to, to help them out. Where um, the hell is it? Kansas? Kansas. Oh. Kansas. Oh, Kansas City last night. Yeah, how about that one? Yeah, they got it. They got, they got, they got, they how three. about them Raiders? The Raiders, Raiders. Won that Raiders. Race, won that one. By one point. I mean, I, I'd rather get beat by 14 than beat by one point. It's just embarrassing. And uh, as usual, the truck series is off this weekend. Go figure. Even during a playoff system, system they still have more days off than God only knows. Um, I didn't actually write down the Finney race and truck race cutoff system because they're already in their uh, top eight already. And they're going to need a lot of revving up, revving up this weekend. So eventually, uh, this is the way the uh, the points look like in the Cup Series. Truex stone first place, followed by Mr. Brad K, who won last weekend, by the way, in Talladega. Um, and it's going to be Spud on Frank's pick pick of this weekend. Oh, of course it is, you homer. I think, I, I think he's going to go back to back. You're a homer. And Larson is, is still in third, followed by Harvick, Hamlin, Elliott. How how about Happy Harvick? How is he doing? I right, he's doing all right. He's hanging in there. He's hanging in there. Um, and then we got Blaney and Mr. Johnson, who is right on the uh, verge of being in the in the uh, ne next round or not in the next round. So yeah, but after this win this week, he'll be all set. Oh yeah, he'll be all set after this, according according to your your prediction here. Oh yeah. Uh, in the affinity races, uh, Mr. Bryant is still uh, t top dog in that one. Alligators, I like to call him. Mr. Sadler is in third. Hemlick is uh, followed followed by a cluster. Colonel Cluster. Colonel Cluster, yes. Yeah. Poole, Reed, and Tiff. And by the way, it was none of those guys that I mentioned actually won last weekend. But they're all in the top spots. Go figure. Um, the trucks are in a top six when they get back when they get back to racing. That will be uh, next week at Martinsville for those who care. Um, and those guys are Bell, the other side of our brother, Craftman, Hunter Nemechek. Nemo who? Hunter, and then Nemechek. Oh. I don't know why he has two last names. Apparently his mother was confused. Um, or maybe his daddy was confused, I don't know. Whatever. Um, Rhodes, and then Sinrick. Really? I guess is the way that's pronounced. 
Yeah, Cinerec. Oh. Cinerec. MHA, MHA, again, none of those guys are the ones that won last weekend. Who won last weekend? It wasn't none of those guys. <laughs> How do you end up in the top six and don't win a race? Uh, I don't know. Well, apparently the Infinity Series and the Truck Series figured that out. Um, and Brad K was the one that won, won last weekend, which is why he's in, probably in second place. So your prediction is basically Mr. Johnson is winning this oh, weekend yeah, Jimmy Johnson's in good old Kansas City. Yep. And I got Mr. Brad K. Correct, Mundo. Okay. I'll just make sure we're politically correct on that one. Right. I mean, we don't want to be like the NFL and turn around and make rules and, you know, say things and then turn around and scapegoat. Now, which scapegoats... And by the way, folks, eventually, for those of you that are Yankee fans, by the way, um, or Cup fans, and by the way, congratulations to the Los Angeles Dodgers who are going to be in the World Series whenever that starts up. Um, there's a rumor going around the rumor mill right now. We have not been able to confirm this, that... Uh, Legendary Gene Michaels passed away today at 79. Oh, man. So, I mean, you know. Maybe he was a little upset. Maybe, maybe he was a little upset the Cubs lost. I don't know. Oh. Uh, he, he lasted. Did, did, uh, prayers out to that. But, yeah, our condolences go out to Gene Michaels and the family and both organizations. That is absolutely true. Now, I'm sorry. Back to you. You were saying. We have a brand new segment of the show. Uh-oh. Right now, right here, the first one. It's called Sputter Times Hot Seat. Why is Sputter Time got to be in the hot seat? Because Sputter Time is the hot seat. It's oh, I am the hot seat. You are the hot seat. All right. Now, first I'm time I've ever been, I've been called hot. I'm going to ask you. It's by JFK. I'm going to ask you a prediction. Scary. I'm going to ask you a prediction. A prediction. Yep, and it's going to be a random prediction. It's not going to necessarily be about one sport or the other, but it's just going to be a random prediction. I'm scared right and, now. and the prediction is college football this week, tomorrow. What team's going to win? Just pick a team. I'm going to say Florida State. Florida State. There it is. Say random. He. I promise you, there was no. This was not pre-rehearsed. He picked Florida State. So that's the hot seat portion of this show. So every week I'll just have a, a random sporting question for you, and you're going to have to answer it. Okay, we could do that. I think. And on the YouTube channel. That's right. Don't forget, folks. We are on the, we are on now YouTube. Right. Don't you feel sorry for Facebook and YouTube? We're on it. On the YouTube channel, if we give the qu- a question, we'll give a question in this segment. In the same segment right here, we'll give a question, and the first person to answer it right gets a prize. But you got to go on YouTube to do this now. Right. You can't be on Facebook Live. Who was the first NASCAR driver ever to win a Winston Cup race? Who was the first NASCAR driver? Obviously, it's probably no longer a NASCAR driver. To win a Winston Cup, Cup race. race. A Winston Cup race, yes. Do you know this answer? Of course, but I can't give it because I'd win my own prize. Well, I don't know the answer, folks. Say, so, hey, I stumped sputter time. That's why he's on the hot seat. You get it? Get, you get how this game is played now? I give you, I can ask you a random question. I think I like my version of being <laughs> on the hot seat better, where I was being called hot. Oh, I wouldn't call you hot. I just said you were a hot seat. Well, good thing he's not going to call me hot because that would be kind of awkward. <laughs> Because last time I checked, JFK was a male. <laughs> last, time I, last time I was told. I don't know. I mean, you know. So, that's the question. Who was the first driver ever to win a Winston Cup race? Okay, y'all got that now? You got to go on the YouTube channel to answer the question. And you answer, you get a prize. You get a prize. And Spud and Frank is not the prize, so girls, don't worry about it. Oh, God, help us. And guys, don't answer the question. <laughs> if I'm the prize, you, no. you ain't You are it. not the prize. I'm going to give him something more than something. Well, that goes that answer. <laughs> so, all right. This has been all right, JFK folks. in the house until we next time. We out of here. Have a great Splinter weekend. Time and WZW. And be kind to one another. And quick shout out to the former street girls and the former street. Helping others when others won't. So, be safe. And take care of each other. See ya. See ya.